And there's this, that hometown kid has been named Marlins opening day starter. This is a high-end all-star uh, You are right about that, Harold, as always. And Jesus Lazardo joins us on the stove. Jesus, thanks for the time. Congratulations on the honors of being named the opening day starter for the Marlins. How are you feeling about it? Give us your thoughts. I'm uh, ex extremely excited. Uh, you know, it's an honor for me uh, just being able to grow up in South Florida and, uh, you know, going to Marlins games and going to opening days um, down here and now being able to be a part of one. It's it's a blessing. Uh, so as you were born in Peru, you know, I want to ask you about your roots. You know how I know you came over really early, uh, but how close are you to your heritage uh, as far as being from Peru is concerned? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I was I was definitely born in Peru. Um, I actually don't have any family or anyone over there. Uh, my parents are Venezuelan. My whole family, going back uh, a lot of generations, is from Maracaibo in Venezuela. Uh, my dad actually had to move over there for a couple years for work. Uh, I happen to be born in Peru, but uh, I am pretty deep tied into, you know, my Venezuelan uh, heritage. I know that uh, you talk about your family. Everybody's in Miami. Uh, your pass list will be pretty full on March 28th to watch the opening day assignment. I saw a, a social media message that your dad sent up. Extremely proud of what you've accomplished. Um, are you anticipating the biggest pass list you've ever left behind for this opening day assignment? Uh, yeah, I've had some pretty long ones. Uh, my debut, uh, my first start here as a Marlin, but uh, I would have to say that this one's going to be uh, – easily the, the biggest one. I know that uh, the news was delivered to you by uh, your manager and by the guy who has been the opening day starter for the last four years for the Marlins, uh, Sandy Alcantara. Walk us through that visit and, and how that went. Yeah, uh, Sam, or Skip called me into his office, uh, you know, wanted me to go over basically my progression for the rest of spring. Uh, and once Sandy was in there, I kind of felt like something was up. And uh, so he goes through my progression, asked me where that's going to leave me on opening day. Um, so that was awesome to hear. And then Sandy gave me some words, um, you know, so some things that they told him on his first opening day. And I thought it was awesome, you know, to get that that news from both of them. I mean, Jesus, this is definitely an honor, but it has been most definitely earned. Uh, you have a superb combination, fastball, slider, a lot of whiffs on that slider. And I know you're very cerebral about your preparation. What are you working on this spring to continue to build upon what you have accomplished in the past? Uh, yeah, for me, it's just really uh, getting in the zone, throwing all my pitches in the zone, um, you know, consistently, um, fine-tuning the fastball command, the slider command, and uh, working on a little curveball as well. So. Uh, we're trying some new things, but at the same time, we're really trying to, to perfect the things that I already do. Jesus, what, one more thing that I really like to ask, especially you, 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 you're looking at your whole entire squad. Who has impressed you the most this spring? Uh, I mean, I think a lot of guys, a lot of guys have. Um, we have a lot of guys that might sneak up and, and you know, um, impress people, um, you know, caught off guard. I think AJ Puck, um, you know, he was a guy that was with me over in Oakland, um, but he was always a reliever. And then now we're making him a starter and his stuff looks really good. Um, you know, he looks amazing uh, off the mound and just he, he's feeling good, feeling healthy. Uh, him, Yuri Perez, I mean, Yuri Perez is, uh, you know, hard to get caught off guard, but he's looking amazing as well. So um, we got a lot of guys that I think are going to take uh, the league by surprise. Hey, I'm, I'm curious about this, Jesus, and we try to ask uh, every major league starter we talk to something similar. It's easy for us in the media to kind of lament the fact that today's game has guys going, you know, three and two thirds, four and a third, and seemingly satisfied with that. Um, it's hard to go seven innings, to go eight innings. We, we get that. W where is your mindset in terms of longer starts, bigger pitch counts, uh, and are the Marlins sanctioning uh, longer starts and bigger pitch counts? Uh, I mean, for me, I, I, you know, I'm a little more old school. I would love to go uh, as deep in the game as possible. I would love, you know, to let my pitch count run up there. Um, obviously, it's up to Skip and Mel, and uh, depending on, you know, the health, and we want to stay healthy all year. But uh, I would love, you know, to go as deep as possible in every game I get. And I think that's the goal for all of our pitchers. I know that, you know, we have a lot of innings to eat up this year with Sandy out. So uh, that's going to be the goal for us. What does it take to be able to accomplish that, Jesus? I mean, what do you have to do in order to accomplish getting deep into games as you would like to? Uh, yeah, for me, I mean, it was de it's definitely been a learning uh, process for me. I, I uh, never was one to go deep into games, and I feel like last year I kind of turned the corner and started going a little bit deeper into games. Uh, it's really just getting in and out of at-bats a little quicker. Um, 
whether it's finishing um, the hitter early or, uh, you know, just inducing some weak contact early in the count, but not getting into those deep uh, three ball counts and full counts that, you know, take the pitch counts away. Because as soon as I asked that, it's just simply because there's been such a high um, weight being put on strikeouts, you know. How about inducing weak contact? Is that, you know, throwing strikes, um, is that now a priority for you? Because you definitely have the whiff, uh, um, you know, uh, capability. So are you pitching more to contact now? Yeah, I would say um, that's something that we really focus on, especially early in camp here with the Marlins. Uh, you know, they're telling us, you know, we want to get in and out of at bats quick. We want to induce early, early weak contact. Um, you know, strikeouts are nice, but at the same time, if you get out of an inning in eight pitches and you get three soft ground balls, we'll take it as well. So um, that's something that I want to do. Something I've I've been trying to learn from Sandy uh, through my time learning with him. Uh, he's so good at getting in and out of at bats, throwing that sinker, that change up, and getting the ground ball. So um, it's something that uh, I'm definitely working on, and I think that uh, you know a lot of us take pride in that. All right, look, get, let me just, the ground balls are nice and everything. I got to back off my guy Carlos here. 52% K rate. I buy a ticket to see this guy punch out double digits, man. That's I, why I asked the question. Come on. Because he's nasty. I don't want to see little ground balls. I, mean, I want to see him punch people out, man. That's fun for us leave, for leave fans. Him, leave him alone, man. Leave him alone. I think he's on the right track. Uh, I mean, oh, man. Hey, great Zeus, stuff. We, we appreciate the visit today. We're really happy for your success, uh, for the honor of being named opening day starter for the Marlins. And such a cool thing at such an early stage in your career. Excited for your family as well. Way to go, man. Go get it on March 28th.